Hi, welcome to another one of our technical videos. This one's on Capture by ADI. Now we're going to be looking at a feature called OnVIF. Uh, these recorders support that feature and it just allows us to add other cameras from other manufacturers. Uh, first thing I need to do is go and get and download the IP scan utility. You can get that from our Capture by ADI info uk website. So go ahead and get that downloaded and we've got it already downloaded. So we're now going to just run a little scan. So I just need to start it off. I need to discover the recorder IP address before we start, which is there on the screen for us. The other thing I might want to do is to discover the new camera and make sure we know the login details. So I know the IP address and I know the login details from this Honeywell camera that we've got. So that's all in order. So I'm just going to launch a network browser by double clicking on the recorder IP, uh, provided my network's okay, I can enter my username and password. And that's how started the process off. I need to go over to the network section, and then I need to go over to the other section, and I need to turn on the OnVIF support first thing. So turn it on, and we'll apply that feature right now. I'll just wait for that to complete. Setup's complete. And we're just going to nip over to the live stream so we can see the cameras. And we'll show you that we've got four cameras connected. We've got a big screen there showing you a multi-way with only four connectors. I'm going to nip over to the camera section now. I'm going to go and pick camera five. And I'm going to change it from auto to IP camera. And the next thing we need to do is put the IP address of this nice new camera we've got. So it was all previously worked out. So we needed to know there's 192.168.0.120. And of course, the other thing we need to do is make sure the credentials are right. So the admins, the username, and we need to enter our credentials for the new camera and click apply. And again, we'll just wait for that to reconfigure. And it, it says success. So again, we'll just nip back over to the live screen. Uh, and what we'll see is uh, the fifth camera appearing on the main screen, so we'll just double click that and we'll just wait for it to load because it's going to do some comms to the new camera and we should see any second now the new camera come up, provided we've got all the credentials correct. And there you go, we've got a, a live camera view up there. So if I want to just go and see that camera in full view, I'll just pick the single camera view and I'll go and select camera five. Uh, and there we have it, the nice new camera. So I uh, kind of hope that's all helped and showing you how on this works. Thank you very much.